Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers, just to remind you of a few affairs as you leave, barakallahu feekum. I don't think I need to remind you about the Islamic forbiddance of partaking this weekend or that which is before you over the next few days of that which they refer to as Halloween. It is haram and it is as just as haram as Christmas or Easter. This Halloween is rooted in Christianity. Barakallahu feekum. It is rooted in Christianity from the 15th and 16th century. And the actual term is a distortion of the word All Hallows Evening, which is a day that they believe, the Christians have believed for centuries, that the saints come out of their graves and their souls come out of their graves and they roam the earth. So people and many churches they, and, and many Christians, they light candles over the graves in the graveyards of their loved ones and in their saints so a Muslim should not participate in any of that Barakallahu feekum. and any participation in such affair of course renders Barakallahu feekum you to be have to, for you to have resembled the unbelievers in an affair that it is not permissible to resemble them in Man biqawmin fahuwa minhum. and whomsoever resembles a people is from them so keep your children and your families away from these ritualistic Christian, Christian practices that are in fact even a bid'ah for the Christians. It's not, when I say Christianity, I don't mean early Christians, this is latter-day Christians. And furthermore, a lot of it is rooted in pagan practices within Wales and Scotland and Ireland. These are paganistic practices that were embraced by the Christians, keep your children away from them, from masks, this trick and treat, and anything similar to that. And they used to, amongst the, amongst the Christians of Ireland, they used to go around knocking on people's doors, and they used to knock on the door and say, either you give me something, or we will call the devils to come, meaning the jinn, to come and possess you and your household. So you can see how all of this is rooted in the cultures of paganism and Christianity, nothing to do with Islam. Do not look at these affairs as minor non-issues, just as you do not look at the affair of worshipping in a church or attending Christmas Mass or partic participating in, Christ in practices of Christmas or Easter. We do not regard them to be small affairs. These are huge matters that oppose our aqidah and our deen. Barakallahu feekum.